Terry Travels to the Ancient Past. One magical morning, Terry set off for school. Something looked different. Was it the storm that had blown things around last night? Or was she imagining things? Terry loved adventure. As she looked up at the trees, her foot hit something. It was a toy cart covered with dust. Something even stranger happened. Did I just hear a soft voice telling me to clean this? She wondered. As she rubbed some dust off, she felt a push. Oh, chosen one, this doll broke thousands of years ago. The other half lies buried in the dust of which it was made. Your task is to find it. The saucer will take you across the ages to the ancient Indus Valley civilization. Your guide, the high priest of Mohenjo-Daro, who was a very important person, is waiting. The Indus Valley civilization was one of the earliest human settlements. Its cities were well planned. The people valued cleanliness and hygiene. Harappa, Indus River, Mahendra Daro, Chanhu Daro. Wow, what was that? The cart grew and the ground below Terry shook. She fell into the cart. Then she noticed the little parcel. It was tied in paper and looked very old. Terry opened it carefully. It was the head of a small clay doll. Terry examined the wrapping paper. It was a scroll. Terry took a deep breath. School would have to wait. Swoosh. She was off. Dolivera Lothal. In the 1920s, the remains of the ancient Indus Valley civilization were dug up. This remarkable civilization covered a large area on the plains of the Indus River. Today, that land is part of India and Pakistan. It has more than a thousand cities. More than five million people lived there. Then and now. In ancient times, people settled near rivers. It was easier to grow crops there. Today, cities are located away from the water, so water has to be supplied using electrical pumps. These use energy. Welcome to the Indus Valley Civilization. Welcome to the Indus Valley Civilization. You must be the priest king of Mohenjo-Daro, but what's a civilization? Let me take you around my civilization. A civilization is a society that is well developed. In most ancient civilizations, people settled in one place where they could grow crops. These places became villages, towns, or cities. The people followed a set of rules. A king or group of rulers was in charge. The people also practiced religion and spoke a language. They wrote on tablets, seals, and scrolls. They played sports, painted, and made statues and buildings. The people of the Indus Valley Civilization built their towns and cities around the Indus River. The two largest cities were Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, both now in Pakistan. Mohenjo-Daro was built between the Indus and the gagar hakra rivers. Harappa stood on the bank of the Ravi River. The Indus is one of the longest rivers in the world. Many smaller rivers flow into it. It begins in China and flows through India and Pakistan. It covers more than 1,900 miles. This is about one-third the distance around the moon at its middle. The Indus River swells with water from the monsoon rains. When the flood waters go down, they leave behind minerals that improve the soil. Scientists who study the remains of the past are called archaeologists. Modern archaeologists believe that the Indus Valley civilization was much larger than anyone thought. It could have stretched over to Iraq in the west, Kashmir in the north, Haryana in the east, and the Godavari River in the south. Harappa was the first discovered city of the Indus Valley. It began around 3300 BC. It was large and important. Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro. Mohenjo-Daro is the modern name. It means Mound of the Dead. No one knows what the city was called when people lived there. It began around 2600 BC. Then and now, crops grew well in the river valley soil. Today, farmers use chemical fertilizers to grow crops. The chemicals can harm the environment. The ancient art of trading. I'll be happy to take you around. See this seal here? It was made of clay about 2000 years ago. It will tell you a lot about our life. I can't wait to explore your civilization. The people of the Indus Valley used metals like bronze and copper to make weapons. They also knew how to make mirrors. The Indus Valley civilization is one of the oldest. It began around 7,000 years ago in the New Stone Age. That's when people used stone to make weapons and tools. They polished stone to make arrowheads. Later came the Bronze Age, about 3,300 years ago. During this age, people learned to mine metals such as bronze and copper. Then they beat them into shapes. They started using metals to make tools. The Indus Valley people traded with other ancient civilizations. They traded goods or money to get what they did not have. This made them among the earliest traders. 
The people of the Indus Valley used simple tools made of wood, stone, and metal. These were natural materials that did not harm the environment. The people of the Indus Valley used simple tools made of wood, stone, and metal. As far back as 2350 BC, the Indus people were trading with the Sumerian civilization or Mesopotamia, now in Iraq. Indus seals have been found in Mesopotamian cities. A round Iraq seal was also found in Mohenjo-daro. The Indus Valley seals were square or rectangular. They were made of burned earth to make them stronger. The seals were used to mark a trader's goods. They were also used to buy and sell things. Every important person wore a seal. It was strung on a cord around his neck. Seals were also used on important agreements. Most seals had images of animals on them. This is because animals were an important part of Indus Valley life. Herdsmen kept flocks of sheep, goats, and cattle. Oxen drew carts and pulled water out of wells. The Indus Valley traders used well-designed boats to carry goods across the seas. Then and now. Weapons such as the bow and arrow could not harm too many people. Modern weapons are more destructive and dangerous. Nuclear bombs can kill millions of people. Food for all and more. The people of the Indus Valley civilization grew most of their own crops. In winter, they grew barley and wheat. They also grew chickpeas and peas. They cooked in oil from the mustard and sesame they grew. They also grew fruits like melon and they loved to eat dates. In summer, their fields were full of fluffy white cotton. They spun it into yarn. This thread was later woven into cloth. Those are the fields where we grew our food. Let's go there. Perhaps the other half of the doll is lying there. Green Gym. The wooden plow used the muscle power of people and animals. That's called mechanical energy. Today, our steel tractors are plowed by fossil fuels such as diesel. The Indus Valley fields produced food for all, even those who lived in the cities and did not farm. Enough food remained to sell to people of other civilizations. Farmers prepared their fields before they sowed seeds. They used simple wooden plows to turn the earth. The water from rivers irrigated the fields. Sometimes the Indus River flooded its banks. The deposits left on the riverbank after the flood waters went down made the soil rich and fertile. The Indus Valley was a dry region, so some crops were planted in time to be watered by the rains. Rainwater was also stored in huge tanks made of rock. This water was used when there was no rain. Farmers produced enough food to eat, store, and even trade. Fishermen also caught fish from the rivers and the sea for food. Then and now. The Indus Valley people were among the first organic farmers. They did not use chemicals. Some farmers today have gone back to organic farming. Ancient Town Planners Did you know we were the first to build our cities according to city planners? Wow, that explains why your cities are so neat and orderly. Most cities had a walled citadel. The largest is in Mohenjo-daro, inside where the hall, a great bath, a granary, and the homes of the rich. The cities of the Indus Valley were built based on plans. They had walls around them. At first, sun-dried bricks were used for homes and buildings. Later, the people learned to fire bricks and bake them. This made them stronger. Bricks were held together with mortar or paste made from mud. Houses were built around a courtyard. That way, every room was bright and airy. The walls were strong enough to support an upper story. Ox carts traveled on the main roads. The inner streets were too narrow for this traffic. The Great Bath at Mohenjo-daro was the earliest public water tank in the world. The Indus Valley civilization was located in a dry region. Wells provided groundwater. The Indus Valley had expert builders. They built large dockyards, warehouses, and granaries. Large public houses served as meeting places for festivals. Each house had many rooms. The roof was held up by wooden logs. Water came from wells. Mohenjo-daro had about 700. Many homes had their own wells. Others drew water from the common wells. Each block of houses had at least one well. These common wells were dug on roadsides. They ensured that people did not have to go far for water. Then and now. Sun-dried bricks kept houses in the Indus Valley cool. Natural plasters made of gypsum and bitumen were used. Cement that is used today must be manufactured using energy. Keeping the city clean. Wow, this tunnel sure looks mysterious. It was a huge drain. The Indus Valley city planners were the first to make a system of drains. This maze of covered, sloping drains made sure water and dirt flowed away from the houses. This kept the cities clean and healthy. The main drains were large. Cleaners could actually walk through to clean them. One brick with a notch cut in the center kept the drains clear. Each house had a bath area. It included a bathing platform to stand on. The used water flowed into drains. Green Gym 
The Indus Valley people built the oldest water storage system in the world. In dry Dolavira, they dug channels that led water to stone storage tanks. No water could seep out. People threw their garbage in brick pits. From there, it was taken away. The Indus Valley city stayed clean. Most houses were about the same size. However, some important people lived in larger houses. Every home could store water. Some two-story houses even had pipes made of baked earth or terracotta that led water into the drains below. The people of the Indus Valley knew that water flowed from a higher to a lower level. They used this knowledge to water their fields and to drain dirty water out of their homes and cities. This was the first and most detailed drainage and sewage system in the world. Then and now. In a city, proper disposal of waste is important. This was understood well by the Indus Valley town planners. Many cities today struggle to dispose of all the waste people create.